Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another live album ranking. Um, it's Friday. That's uh, when we look at live albums of lots of the great artists. And today we are looking at live albums of The Boss, also known as Bruce Springsteen. One of my favourite um, American singers. Um, got this reputation of doing really long shows um, he's uh, he's he obviously he's had 21 studio albums um, phenomenal career uh, he's ever released um, seven official live albums but there are 16 archive albums as well that tend to repeat themselves. So I've gone for the official releases um, more than the archive releases. We'd be here all day, and I've only got the seven at the moment. So we'll get a crack in. So coming in at number seven, this is a album from 2007. And it was recorded in 2006 and it's Bruce Springsteen with the Sessions Band live in Dublin and it was from the, the Sega Sessions tour um, on, on the uh, on performing on this album are Bruce Springsteen on um, guitars and harmonica and vocals, Sam Barfield on violin and vocals, Art Barron on sousaphone, trombone, mandolin and penny whistle, Frank Bruno, I don't think it's the Frank Bruno on acoustic guitar, I'll just sit there and play the guitar, Harry. not that one, uh, Jeremy Chakatsky on bass, Larry Eagle drums and Clark Gayton on trombone, um, loads of other people, it's just a Thing. Uh, tracks on here are Atlantic Sin City, Old Dan Tucker, Eyes on the Prize, Jesse James, Further Up on the Road, I like that. Um, Mary Don't You Weep, Erie Canal, Should I Fall Behind, My Oklahoma Town, Highway Patrolman, Mrs. McGrath, Poor Up, How Can Poor Old How Can a Poor Man Stand Such Times in Life, Jacob's Ladder, Long time coming. Open up, open all night. Pay me my money down. Growing up, when the saints go marching in, this little light of mine, American land, um, which is a great song. Um, it's not a bad album, um, but I'm not a great fan of Bob Seger, to be honest. Oh, the production on it's good. It's a thing, but it's just not my bag I've never been, I never liked the Bob Seger album but you know as an album I don't play it very often I mean it's got it's got a great version of Atlantic City on here and Highway Patrolman and American Land they are really good versions but on the whole it's an album that I sort of don't listen to very often but that's the quality of sound that I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10 Okay, then coming in at number six. This was released in 1993 and it's in concert MTV Unplugged. It was that time when every band was doing an unplugged set. Um, some worked, some didn't. Now, this one was recorded in 1992 at the Warner Hollywood Studios in LA at the start of Spring Teens tour for the Human Touch and the Lucky Town. And I remember this going out on MTV in 1992. So on here we've got Bruce Springsteen on vocals and guitar, Zach Alford on drums, Roy Bitten on the keyboard, Shane Fontaine on lead and rhythm guitars, Tommy Sims on the bass, Crystal Tofello, Gear Gambotti, Carol Denny, and Clear Patrick Kennedy on backing vocals. Patty Sapphire Shafia, whatever her name is, on acoustic guitar and harmonies. We got a uh, first track is one that he's never he hadn't released up to then. Redheaded Woman. Then we had Better Days, Atlantic City, Brilliant, Darkest, Darkness on the Edge of Town, Man's Job, Human Touch. 
from that album lucky town let me get wish i was blind from human touch thunder road light of day um which is a song that was performed by joe jet and michael j fox if i should fall behind from lucky town living proof from lucky town and my beautiful reward um i actually like this it's a really good um acoustic set um i do like this and it's got a great version of atlantic city so i'm going to give this one an rto ranking of eight out of ten Coming in at number five, we have Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band live in New York. Uh, there was a concert film done of this as well, and it uh, was released in 2000, and, it, and it's from the reunion tour of 1999 and 2000, their first concerts together in 11 years. So it's Bruce Springsteen, um, Roy Britton, Clarence Clements, Danny for DC, Niels Lofram, Patty Schiffer, Gary Talent, Steve Van Dan, and Max Weinberg, the E Street Band. Tracks on this one are My Love Will Not Let You Down, Prove It All Night, Two Hearts, Atlantic City, Mason on the Hill, The River, which is brilliant, Youngstown, Murder Incorporated, Badlands, brilliant, Out in the Streets, Street, Born to Run. The Tenth Avenue Freeze Out. Glad to hear this. Uh, it contains proportions of red-headed woman. Take me to the river. Um, Land of hope and dreams. American Skin. Forty-one shots. Oh, it's, it's an awesome track, but live it's got so much atmosphere. Lost in the flood. A uh, little acoustic version of Born in the USA. Don't look back. Jungle Line. Ram Rod. And if I should fall behind great comeback album reunion tour for the bruce and the e streets strong the street band um fantastic album um i really like this one as well so i'm going to give this one an rto ranking of eight a point eight okay then coming in at number four this was released in 2018 and it was recorded on the 17th and 18th of July in 2018 and it's Springsteen on Broadway this is absolutely fantastic I've seen the movie because it came out as a movie and basically it's Bruce talking about his life and playing a bit of songs and the introduction about the songs so they do growing up my hometown my father's house the wish Thunder Road the promised land Born in the USA, 10th Avenue, Freeze 8, Tougher Than the Rest, Brilliant Disguise, Long Time Coming, The Ghost of Tom Joad, The Rising, Dancing in the Dark, Land of Hope and Dreams, Born to Run. This is a truly wonderful um, album. The story of Bruce's life with a few songs. Um, I'd have loved to have gone and seen this live. It's a shame that he never took it on a full tour because it's an amazing. If you've never seen the seen it or heard it it's it's a wonderful thing it's something you don't put on in the background you have to sit down and listen to it um remember that the, i used to listen to this sometimes when i used to go on long haul on a long haul flight i think in when i went to mexico i put this on and i just lost myself in it <laughs> it was amazing so i'm going to give this an rto ranking of nine out of ten okay then coming in at number three got an album that was released in 2006 and it's Hammersmith Odeon London 75 um, a full length recording of their performance at the Hammersmith Odeon on the 18th of November 1975 during the Born to Run tour this is performance marking the debut concerts of Bruce and the E Street Band in Europe so the band, of course, is uh, be Bruce Springsteen, Roy Britton, Clarence Cummins, Danny DC, Gary Talent, Steve Van Dan, and Max Weinberg. Opens up with a great version of Thunder Road. Um, 10th Avenue Freeze Out, brilliant version. Spirit of the Night. 
and he sort of incorporates Staggerly in there and the moon was yellow Lost in the Flood, brilliant she's the one who's fantastic on here Born to Run the East Street Shuffle having a party brilliant It's Hard to Be a Saint in the City Back Streets, Kitty's Back which includes a little bit of Moon Dance by Van Morrison Jungle Land, Rosalita 4th of July, Detroit Melody which includes like the Devils with a blue undress, um, C C C Rider for you, then quarter to three. This is a great album. I think it, you know, capturing them first concerts here in Europe. Um, the sound is so good on this for, for seventy five. I play this one a lot. And I'll give this an RTO ranking of 9.2. And I think it's got the definitive version of some of these songs on the first album, first few albums as well. Okay then, coming in at number two. Now this came out in 2021. And it's the legendary 1979 No Two Nukes concert. Recorded over two nights at Madison Square Gardens in 1979. Most of the tracks off from the darkness on the edge of town and its predecessor born to run. It also has the river and Sherry Darling. So it's Bruce Springsteen, Roy Britton, Clarence Clarence Starr, Danny Farisi, Carrie Talent, Steve Van Zant, and Max Weinberg, um, got Jackson Brown and Tom Petty and Rosie Butler make an appearance as well. So on here we've got Prove It All Night, Badlands, great version, The Promised Land, brilliant, The River, Sherry Darling, Thunder Road, great version, Jungle Land, Rose Lita, Born to Run, always like that, The Detroit, Detroit Medley again, Quarter to Three, Rave On, version of Rave On, another excellent album, uh, it's great to hear some of these songs, some of these I haven't heard live. Um, but it's a fantastic album. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 9.3. So my number one and favourite live album by Bruce is live 1975 to 85. It's a box set, 40 tracks um, from concerts from 75 up to 85 and it was released in 1986. Um, got Bruce on here, the E Street Band was Roy, Clarence, Danny, Niels, Patty, Gary, Steve and Max. Got guest musicians on here, Howard Kalen and Mark Volman, the, the Miami Horns are on here, Stan Harrison's on sax, Eddie Mannion on baritone saxophone, Mark Pender, trumpet and Richie LaBamba Rosenberg on tr trombone. Okay, side one um, is starts off with Thunder Road, recorded in '75. Superb. Adam raised again, raised the cane from '78 with the Roxy Theatre. Brilliant. Spirit of the Night, Fourth of July, Aylesbury Park, recorded in 1980. Paradise by the Sea, brilliant. That's on side two. Fire. Recorded the legendary Winterland and um, growing up back to the Roxy Theatre in '78. It's hard to be a saint in the Sydney. Great version on there. Back streets. Rosalita. Raise your hand. Side four is Hungry Heart. Best version of that song I've got. Two hearts. Brilliant. Cadillac Ranch. Another brilliant version. You can look, but better not touch. Brilliant. Independence Day. A stunning version of that. Badlands, recorded in 80, brilliant. Because of the night, best version of that I've got. Candy's Room, brilliant. Darkness on the Edge of Town, again, another brilliant version of it. Racing in the Street, great version. It, the, the definitive version, I think. This Is Your Land, superb little track. That starts side six. Nebraska, a brilliant version of that. Um, Johnny 99 awesome this is these are just awesome reason to believe is good born in the USA 
really strong version of that seeds brilliant and then a fantastic version of um, the river unbelievable version of the river probably the best version I've got and then side out opens up with um, his version of war oh, I love love that song and Bruce's version is brilliant Darlington County the best version better than on born and on the US, USA working on the highway again better than on in the studio the promised land uh, then on side nine you've got cover me great track I'm on fire my hometown Bobby Jean born to run no surrender 10th Avenue freeze out Jersey girl um, this is one of the best live album box sets you'll ever hear it covers that 10 year period where I think Bruce and the band were at their best never play this all the way through because it's just too long I think I've only ever done it once but um, it's just fantastic capturing some really um, truly amazing versions of his songs um, so I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 9.5 so there we go a bit of a Bruce Springsteen for you on a Friday morning um, I'll be back very shortly when um, we're going to have a one off album today and it's from a band called Racy um, from the 70s interesting little album so we'll have a look at that later so bye for now